All right. So I wanted to jump in today and create a video for you talking through uh, this amazing new social media tool that I have been using called Social B. So if you have never heard of Social B, it is basically a social media scheduler that can schedule posts across lots of different platforms. Now, there's a couple of reasons why I specifically love Social B. And over the few last few months, I have signed up for free trials to quite a lot of different tools whilst I've been exploring options for my clients. And the reason that I wanted to try out a whole lot of different tools is because there are so many of them and they vary greatly in their price. So I picked up Social B on an AppSumo deal actually, which was 49 US dollars for lifetime, which is a super, super good deal. Um, it, but normally it is around 20 US dollars a month. Uh, they did have a Black Friday sale that was 50% off. So they do have sales uh, happening, but really $20 a month, it's not a huge investment when I show you just some of the most amazing things that this tool can do. So what I want to do in this video is show you a little bit of the interface that, um, that is Social B. I want to take you through um, seven of the most helpful bits of Social B so that you can kind of see the way that they work and why this tool to me seems to stand out from the crowd. Also, in the comments uh, near this video, there will be a link if you want to sign up for Social B. It is an affiliate link. I'm putting it out there right from the beginning, no holds barred. I will get a small commission from Social B for sharing this tool. But also, if you know me, you know that I do not recommend things that I do not use and love. So, you know, rest assured that this will be a worthwhile purchase. It is a monthly subscription generally. So you can always opt out if you decide that it isn't the right tool for you. Also, if you watch until the end of this video, I am going to be putting a one-time special offer out there for people who see this tool and think, actually, I think this is what I need, where I can actually come in and help you get set up and organized and sorted so that you hit the ground running using Social B and you overcome some of those hurdles of getting the content in there to start with and feeling confident with the interface and all of that kind of stuff. So let's get in and have a little bit of a look at the amazing tool that is Social B. So, this is the dashboard that you come into. And at the moment, I've just switched everything off because I've been putting content in crazy places and really just testing out how robust this tool actually is because that's super important to me that I'm recommending something that's super robust. So this is the dashboard. With the lower plan, you get one workspace, so one business and up to 10 social profiles. So for most people, that is going to be more than enough. If you are running socials for multiple businesses or running an agency, they do have larger packages that allow you to have multiple workspaces, um, multiple social profiles, all of those kinds of things. So basically what happens when you come into Social B is you connect all of your social profiles. So at the moment, I've got my Facebook business page connected. I've got my Facebook business group connected. I've got my LinkedIn connected. I've got my Instagram connected. You can also um, connect Twitter. Uh, but basically, you can connect a whole lot of different profiles. And the great thing about being able to do that is that we can actually share content to different profiles at the same time. But we can also go in and customize what that content looks like on each platform so it's optimized for that specific platform. So connecting all of that up was super easy. Uh, basically, I just had to be logged in to each of the apps and it was one click. Uh, super, super easy to do. All right. So then as you go through, um, one of the things that I really, really love about Social B is that they basically create your content buckets for you. Okay. So I talk a lot when I'm training people about creating content buckets, which are all the different types of content that you're going to share across your social media. And each of those types of content is basically going to have a purpose that serves your community. So as you can see here, I've got multiple content categories that I have created. 
So I've got uh, blogs from RSS. You can actually link up the RSS feed of other blogs that have awesome information for your audience and have them going out automatically and that feed updating automatically. This is a game changer. This stops you from having to troll the internet and find all of the things that you want to find to share across to your audience and then copying the hyperlink, creating the post, all of those kinds of things. This is literally just coming straight through the RSS feed, which is awesome. Um, the second option that you've got is curated. And this is basically where you can just put articles that you do find across the internet. And I'll show you in a little minute the Chrome browser extension that Social Bee have that makes collecting together curated content so, so easy. What you'll see with each of these is that underneath they either have a tab that says share once or they have a tab that says evergreen. This is another great feature about Social Bee, which is that we can actually have content on Evergreen where it is recycled and reused by the platform without you having to do anything. But you also have the option to decide that you don't want that to happen and that you just want it to be share once, like I've done for the blogs from the RSS. The next content uh, bucket that I've got or content category that I've got is my blog posts. And so I was able to use my RSS feed to bring through the last 10 posts. And then I've gone through and added in the other um, blog posts and podcast episodes, all of those kinds of things. I've then got a bucket for my promotional, which has got my freebies, it's got offers, it's got call to action to head to pages where I have uh, information about my services, all of those kinds of things all sitting in there ready to go. Then I've got quotes, questions and fun. This is where I can share uh, memes, I can put up really inspiring quotes that I find, I can ask my audience questions to get really good information on how I can be helping them better. And then the final content bucket that I've created because of my style of business are tips and how to. And this is where I put uh, tips and particularly videos with information about how I can uh, help people, little tips and tricks that I have come across about social media, all of those kinds of things that I share. And I have them on Evergreen because I want people to be seeing those ideas um, as they, you know, as I create them, but also again down the track, particularly for my new audience. So that's one of the amazing things about Social Bee is that you have those content categories and you're able to go through and basically fill up these buckets with pieces of content. And then when I show you in a minute, you can actually then go in and you just set up your schedule for the buckets. And Social Bee goes through and picks out the content and shares it pretty good. So um, that's the categories. As you can see on the left hand side, these are all the different ways that you can add content. So you've got RSS feeds, you can use Pocket, which is an extension, but I want to show you the Chrome uh, extension that they have because basically it means you don't need to use Pocket anymore. You can put together hashtag collections, import links, import CSVs, import media. So you can import large amounts of media um, in one go, which is awesome. It does allow you to zap, although I haven't had to zap anything at this stage because I've been able to do it other ways. And then I had browser extensions. So as you can probably see, I have the Social Bee browser extension over here. Literally when I'm on a page, any page on the internet, I can click that save to Social Bee button. Social Bee opens up in front of me. I can create the post, choose which content category it's going into, uh, and then I can literally have it there in that content category. It takes three seconds plus a little bit of copy and it's done and it's in there. I don't have to copy any links or do any of those crazy things. So that is a really, really great feature when it comes to Social Bee that a lot of the other tools that I tried did not have a Chrome extension that made it so easy to do. All right, so let's move on to the next tab and this is the posting tab. So this is basically where you have your schedule overview and I've blanked mine for now so that you can see that basically you can go through and add a posting time. You choose which of your profiles it's going out to, which category of post you want it to go out, uh, you've got the time, you've got the date, and you can literally uh, click create. Once you create 
a schedule, whatever is best for your audience, looking at your analytics, looking at your insights, all of those kinds of things. Once you create this schedule, it's just rinse and repeat. It literally just continues uh, week on week. And so once you've gone through and created that the first time, it's super easy to do. You'll also find that when you go through the setup wizard, they will actually offer you the option of generating a schedule for you. And so as you can see down the bottom here, it says generate schedule as per best practices, which is an awesome little option as well. Uh, you can click through here and actually see the next posts that you've got scheduled just in, in a list rather than having them uh, in over the page like this, which is super awesome. You can go through and have a look at your analytics in here as well, which is great. And you can also have a look at your audience and it gives you uh, information if you've got your Twitter account connected up there, which I don't right at this moment. So it's a super simple tool to use. It really allows you to tap into the power of content buckets, which are super important when it comes to streamlining and having a strategy to what we're actually sharing on social media rather than just the ad hoc willy nilly sharing. Uh, it's everything in one. It has all my profiles. It has all my content. It has all my buckets. It has the ability for me to bring in content through RSS, bring in content through the Chrome extension, import large amounts of videos and images, all of those kinds of things. You can create a preset schedule so that you have that schedule just kicking over each week. You can let uh, social be do that based on best practice or you can create what works for your audience based on your insights and analytics. You've got the option of evergreen content, which is so amazing to be able to have content there that's going to be reshared intermittently with your audience because new people are going to have turned up in your audience. But also, there's going to be people that haven't seen those posts because like with everything on social media, it only gets seen by a small percentage of your audience. The Chrome browser extension is a personal favorite of mine. It makes it so easy for me to share content from all over the web. And the final thing that I need to say is that they do have an app and this allows me to get push notifications for Instagram. So Instagram is a profile that you cannot schedule onto from Social B at this point in time. And as people will know, Instagram is a bit picky about who and where and how people can schedule. Instagram wants you to be on the platform using the platform as well as putting out content. It doesn't want you to just be scheduling content and then forgetting that Instagram even exists. So, Social Bee have created a great way to be able to do this. So what you can do is you can schedule that content for Instagram as part of Social Bee. And then when it's time for that content to go out, it will send you a push notification through the app on your phone. And you will literally in two clicks be able to post that post onto Instagram. It is literally so simple. The image is already there. The copy is already there. You've already gone through and worked out what hashtags you're using, all of those kinds of things. You can literally just post to Instagram right there and then. The great thing about that is you're honoring the algorithm of Instagram at the same time by being on the platform. And if you can spend some time replying to people's comments, having a look at other people's content, doing all those kinds of things, the Instagram algorithm is going to look on your content much, much more favorably. But it means that you're not there every day on Instagram staring at a blinking cursor of death trying to work out what you are going to post because you've already organized that. It's there in the schedule. It's coming down to your phone via social beat and you can literally just push it out uh, to your audience. So I really love that feature. I think it's a great way to be doing what Instagram wants us to be doing, but also to be able to pre-organize our content, which of course is an amazing thing to be able to do. All right, so that is a quick look at the inside of Social Bee. I hope that that has given you a little bit of an idea about how the tool works and the you know big things that I really love about the tool. As I said, in the comments near this video, there will be a link uh, for you to head over and check out Social Bee. It is an affiliate link, so I will receive a small commission if you do choose to sign up. But I wouldn't recommend anything to you that I don't use and love myself. And I'm super excited to be able to share a tool like this with my clients. So 
let me make you a one-time offer. For people who are watching this video, all you need to do is click the other link that you're gonna find somewhere near this video, which will send you straight through to Facebook Messenger to talk to me at Social Strategy Mom. And you'll be able to take up uh, the option, one of the two options of the offer that I'm gonna put out there for Social B. So right now, if you mention this video and contact me by Facebook Messenger to Social Strategy Mom, just click on the link. You can, for $97, $97 Australian dollars, you can have one of two options to get my eyes and my hands on the setup of your social beat. Option number one is you can grab a one, one hour power hour of coaching where we will literally sit down together and create your social bead. You will log in for the first time. I'll show you where everything needs to be, how to set everything up. We'll go in and have a look at your insights to make sure that your schedule is actually putting posts out on the right platforms at the right times. Then we'll go through and we'll create your content buckets. We'll start bringing content into those buckets. We'll talk about all the different ways that we can do that. And basically by the time our hour is over, your social B will be set for complete success and you'll feel really confident about the way to use it. The second option is that I am offering you the opportunity for me to set up your social B content for you. What I will do is you will jump in and link up your accounts and then I will come in and I will basically create your content buckets and I will place into your content buckets the first 30 pieces of content that you need to get started. These might be blogs from your website. These might be blogs from other people's websites that are relevant to your audience. This might be video content or image content that you've previously used on social media that we can repurpose and use again. Basically though, what I will do is come into your account, make sure that they have the right content buckets sitting there, ready to go, put 30 pieces of content into those buckets so that you can literally just hit approve and off social B goes, but also it will get you over that hurdle of getting started and getting a bulk lot of content in there to get you going. So that is my offer, 97 Australian dollars. You can either do the one hour of coaching or you can do having me get in there and set up your content buckets and add those third, first 30 pieces of content. If you wanna grab that offer, click on the link that is near here to come across to my messenger or come across to my messenger and mes mention this video to grab that $97 offer. All right, you will not be disappointed, I promise, once you've had a chance to really have a look around the interface of Social B. So many amazing tools, so many amazing ways to make your social media easier, which is so super important so you can get back to doing all the rest of the things that you need to be doing in your business. All right, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon.